I kind of want to move on to yeah, someone with on. a flawless syllogism. All right. Take that it. sounds cool. Billy in, in Austin, Austin, Texas. Hey, buddy. Billy, you're down. in our backyard. Yeah. Cool. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Okay? Yeah. Over the phone. Yeah, yeah. You're not that close. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, um, I have a flawless syllogism that I have constructed. Okay. Hi. Well, flawless I, uh, right. is is definitely something that yeah. tweaks my ears I, because I have a prediction. Okay. Actually, I have not been. I've just not gonna, been able to find any flaws. Okay, I I have a prediction. Um, there's going to be one of the premises that you are confident in concluding is true, and that I will say. Um, actually, I don't find the evidence and reasons behind that one pre- uh, premise. Uh, sufficient. It's probably what I'm going are, to. Are, are, are you um, making this prediction? It's a prediction. Let's see if I can fulfill based prophecy. on based on prior experience. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, who knows? But sorry, sorry. That yeah, was Billy, probably. What do you got? That was kind of a jerk move. Little, oh, what well, do you got for us? I, I have thought of every possible way that this syllogism could be uh, could have flaws. And there are none. All right. Premise one: um, Science cannot investigate the supernatural. Therefore. Anything we find that science cannot investigate is supernatural. Do you have a problem with that? Yes. Comment? Yes. Okay. Well, what is the problem? There? So it that that particular premise um, is not uh, in the form. Uh, the The conclusion of that premise doesn't follow. So um, the fact that there is a thing, the realm of the supernatural, that science cannot investigate, does not mean that everything. Uh, that science cannot investigate is that. Well, yeah, actually it does, because you're giving the supernatural a definition by saying that science cannot investigate it. So you're you're, you're just, something. no, you, so, so here's the difference, We're Billy. using different definitions. Yeah, so, no, 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 so, so here's the difference, Billy. Um, when you say uh, s- supernatural is a thing that science cannot investigate, um, you are describing an attribute of the supernatural. If you are trying to say that all things that science cannot investigate are supernatural, then yes. that is um, different. Or are you, are you saying that all things that science cannot investigate uh, should be labeled supernatural? Well, uh, can, I, no. can, I, can I put this into an, an actual... Well, so I, I feel like there's a distinction that I want to get from him and then okay. um, you. So, Billy, does that make sense as far as what my, my um, question? I, I just well, I disagree. Um, anything that science can't investigate is is supernatural. Okay. Do you mean do you mean is is caused by supernatural means? I, I mean, no, I, I think that's I don't his know definition. what the cause. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which yeah. is why science cannot science can't investigate the supernatural. Okay. So, so, so if we find something that science can't investigate, then it is supernatural. Okay. So, so, so that construction is is not sound. Yeah, let's let's kind of dig into this a little yeah. bit and explore your okay. definition. Sorry to, sorry to get caught up on premise no, that's one. Okay. So, um, um, that's fine. That's fine. so it, it, it appears to me laws. it appears to me that you're defining supernatural as that which cannot be investigated, investigated by, science. by science. Is that your definition of the supernatural? No. No, okay. that, that wouldn't be a definition. That, that would just be a, uh, an, an, you know, one of the defining attributes, I guess. Okay, yeah, then, so then if, your conclusion doesn't follow. If if that's the well, let let's walk sorry. through why. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. That's okay, but, um, I have, so let's let's kind of go through this and figure out why there's a problem here, right? If that okay. was the case, then we would be constantly moving things from supernatural into natural because we're always learning we new are. things about the world around us, right? So yeah, we do, we do be, that. before we learned about the germ theory of disease, right, um, we, uh-huh. we would have defined it as supernatural all the way up until we, you know, lear- learned about this and, and studied it. And then after that point, well, no. it would be considered natural, right? Well, we, but science, science could investigate it, though. Um, they did... Uh, it just wasn't investigated yet. That know? is a wonderful uh, distinction that I agree okay. with. So, so let's actually move forward with that distinction, Billy. So what okay. in this world do you think we will never be able to investigate? Because you're making a, well, a supposition. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. making a supposition that there are things that we will never be able to investigate. I, yes, that's true. Um, okay, like what? Well, that brings me to, that brings me to premise two, which no, is— Hold on. I, 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 I want an example. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, the example would be premise two, where science cannot investigate uh, dark matter or dark energy. Okay, I how disagree. do you know that? Yeah. Because, because it can't be detected. Can you investigate something that you can't detect? It has Billy, been detected. It has been detected, which is why it has a, why it it has a placeholder name. No, no, no. So the, the effect of dark matter okay. is uh, gravity, right? So that is a detection of dark matter. And you can say that the amount no, to no. which scientific investigation can investigate it is limited. I would accept that. However, a, you can measure gravity. It has been measured. Dark matter has been detected gravity. through scientific means. Well, and, and, and well, let's, it, that's a misnomer, first off. Like, I, I kind of want to jump, like, Billy, do you understand what dark matter is? Well, <laughs> no, hold I mean, on. Uh, well, nobody, nobody understands what dark matter is. Then why does it have a name, Billy? Uh, because it's the name given to the effect that we see whenever we look at uh, other things. When we're investigating galaxies, yes. we notice uh -huh. that they we notice that they uh, you know that they rotate too fast for the amount of, of visible mm -hmm. matter uh, that it has, and so um, scientists have to put in dark matter or put in another variable to sure. account for that mm -hmm. rotation. Uh, and, and, and that's what they call dark matter. Exactly. Um, Billy, yeah. so hold on. You're saying... So they're not investigating dark matter. They're not investigating dark matter. No, they're matter. using they're it as a, a... Billy, they're using it as a placeholder to describe an effect that they see. Yeah. Right. So, so dark matter as a thing... Right, we don't yet may know. not exist, and you know, until we give something else a, a, a definition, until we discover or learn about something else. But to say you can never investigate dark matter, that's just silly. Do you think we're never going to go to well, space? Do you think we're never going I, to leave this solar system, Billy? And also, that's kind of an aside because so I can't predict the future. Yeah, so because can't you can't predict it, Billy. For you to make yeah, a so solid statement of never. Like, no, as is, of right now. I, yeah, no, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, you're saying never, we Billy. We can't. No, 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 no. I'm saying so, we can't investigate it. Are okay. you saying we can't investigate it right now? Yes, that's as what I'm saying. Are you saying it cannot be investigated? I'm saying it cannot be investigated because it cannot be detected. You can't investigate okay, something so, that you can't detect. So, okay. two things. One, the, the last statement you made, you cannot investigate something that you cannot detect. I'm right there with you. However... Um, the scientific process is uh, there is a phenomenon that is observed. Um, there is uh, um, there are hypotheses made about it. Further observation, uh, investigation. In this case, uh, lots and lots and lots of math uh, that uh, you know I haven't personally looked at, and is almost certainly b uh, beyond me as far as my ability to read those scientific papers. However, that is describing a thing that is being observed. That is a form of investigation. That is the beginning of scientific investigation. Science is investigating an effect. Right now, that effect, there is a, a no, hypothesis about dark matter. So They're investigating a thing that's being affected, though. They're yes. just like whenever you... That's, like that is gravity, a, that, yeah, that's a, that's, a, we, that's a method of detecting it. So you don't have to detect something directly in order to detect it. But to investigate it, you have to detect it. You have to be able to detect it. To to investigate it directly, you have to be able to detect it. Um, I mean, so, okay. the so, math that they do, but, the math, listen, listen, okay. listen. listen, listen but I, I disagree do, wholeheartedly with that premise as far, as far as understanding what detection is by means of science. So before, um, I don't so for example, there are people looking at the effects of... Um, uh, celestial objects uh, further away from our star than Pluto, and there's a lot of rocks. Yeah, so th this is this is a but sort of separate true. example, right? We know that you know asteroids, meteors, etc. exist, and there is a working uh, hypothesis that they are still testing that is far away that there is a large um, object uh, larger than Pluto, very large that is orbiting the sun through, uh, uh, that is orbiting the sun at that rate. And they are investigating and hypothesizing about where that object would be based on observations of its potential effects on asteroids and other celestial objects out there. 
that is the beginning of the investigation of, I think at one point it was called, uh, it was one of the things that has been called Planet X. That's probably the wrong name. Okay. Would you agree okay. that that is an investigation of that planet object thing? They're not investigating Planet X, though. So you can't okay. investigate Planet X. Okay. So, so, so okay. based on, no. The, no, no, hold on. Based on the example I just gave, if you are measuring the effect of like, hey, look, we can see for these asteroids and based on their trajectory of where they were and where we can see them now, they were affected by something with a gravitational pull. Let's look at other evidence about other things that may have been affected by a similar gravitational pull. It's like saying you can't investigate a person walking through the woods if you only find their footprints. Yes, you can. That is a trace uh, on other objects left by that person. But but you would be able to detect. I mean, it's it's. So you're, you're you can't not, tell me what color the person's beginning. eyes are yet. However, that is the beginning of investigating that well, hiker I mean, in the woods. The begin, the beginning of investigating isn't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actually being able to investigate okay. something. directly. It's, it's, so, are, is science, your statement that science can't investigate? Science cannot investigate the supernatural. Okay, Jesus Christ. No, no, Hold so, on. No. We're, okay. Calm down, dude. Calm okay. down. Calm right. down. So, no, I, I, I feel like your, your, your reasoning here led us on a rabbit trail, every, which is, Billy, I've hold on. Every plot Billy, plot. Okay. And if, 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 if you keep talking about how perfect it is while other people are trying to investigate it, discuss it, we're, yeah. we're probably going to have a problem. Yeah, so let's... I've been working on this syllogism for years, dude. It's flawless. Okay, Billy? so... Oh, go ahead. Okay. Billy? Go ahead. Then why are you calling a talk show on YouTube? Take it to a university. But the fact is, is I think I can actually break that. it down on a talk I've, show on YouTube. I've done that. So, okay. I've, yeah, I've and, 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 and what happened, Billy? What happened? Um, they can't find flaws with it either. Okay, then let's You're walk saying either it. as though I, I haven't already okay. pointed out that there's so, a difference in the meaning of investigation. Okay, let's... I mean, that, that's always what happens. They, they always start taking uh, uh, pieces of of the syllogism and then starting to, to read, uh, you know, uh, micro analyze the, the, that's what you do, Billy. Yes. That's, that's the process of testing an idea. Well, how have you been working on this for years and, and not that, understand and that done. that's how that works? Well, that's been done. That's been done. Well, then how come wow. you are so fucking defensive about this Ooh, piece right no, now? Till. Christ, I, calm down, dude. Okay, so um, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not defensive. I'm not defensive. It's just there's no flaws and yeah. I'm, okay, uh, so so no, at the, hold at, on, no. Um, so let's let's look. Not presenting any flaws. Okay, then they're let's Billy. Billy. Okay. Hi, Billy. Dude, stop. Okay, that. stop. If you if you do if you keep doing that, dude, I you can stop all day after I hang up on you. So let's let's actually um, that's, dig into that's the syllogism, right? I get it. Let's uh -huh. no. It's how I Billy. stop people from being assholes. So all right, just chill. Well, okay, hey, I'm not being. I'm not being an asshole. Dude. Okay. Okay. This is all right. Let me let me jump in here for just okay. a moment to say. Let's just take one second, pause, and think about how the goal of this conversation, which the three of us are having, is to examine and test a mm -hmm. syllogism that Billy is presenting. And I think if we all breathe in and recognize that we want to have. An honest and you know inquisitive conversation I'm about the premises. Yeah, yeah, I'm and, and angry. So, or or without having a, emotion come into it. So, one of the things that just happened was when we were discussing it. Part of your response was, "Dude, I've been working on this for years, and it is flawless." Well, so that yep. statement doesn't really add anything to the conversation. I'd rather talk about the points of the argument, and I think that Eric and and you would agree that that's the case. Sure. Okay. For y'all as well. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, go for it. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, Billy. That's a reason. When, yeah, very nice, Jamie. Thank you. Um, so, uh -huh. w when you're saying science cannot do this, it seems uh -huh. like we're waffling between can't do it right now or could never do it. And you're using a, an you example of one thing, but I can give you I'm hundreds of examples. Hold on a sec. I can give you hundreds of, of examples that absolutely fit right through, right? I mean, every, every advent of technology we've ever had came from us learning new things about the world around us, correct? 
Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, okay. I so. And so, if I, that I mean, is, I, I couldn't go through all of them immediately, but well, but, uh, no, but yeah. but I mean, we're. Sounds, I mean, we're sounds reasonable. Yeah, yeah we're, that, we're not that's computers. Them yeah. being investigated. So, well, I mean, we we have investigated many things. We learn about the world all of the yeah. time, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Yeah, the the piece that I'm having an issue with is your statement was very broad, right? And it you had said that part of what makes up the supernatural is in that definition, you were saying that it is that which cannot be investigated by science. And so I'm, I'm trying to dig into what you're saying when you're saying cannot be investigated by science, right? Because if you're well, saying I, it can never be investigated, then I would say, how could you possibly know what, we, what tools we can develop in, you know, 5,000 years? I'm not saying that. Okay. okay. I'm not so, saying that. So, so are you saying at the present moment, science cannot investigate yeah, this? I, I can only say, I, that's, that's all I can say. At the okay. present moment, science can't investigate the supernatural. Perfect. That's, Perfect. That's, a quote, that's a quote I got from Matt. Matt Dillahunty yeah. says that all the time. Agreed. Yeah, He's, and I agree with that uh, by definition. So, so let's, let's, yeah. let's see. So, so, if, we find some, so what? if we find something that science can't investigate and science can't investigate the supernatural, then it, you know, I, I it pretty much follows it. It, it does not. No. So I've, I've pointed out the problems with the first premise that I have. Um, I don't think that you've taken them on board, and I'm not sure that circling back to them will be particularly fruitful in this conversation. However, what I will well, say you're, is... You're, you're what, denial, your denial... No, it, it's not a denial. I, I, brought up, I brought up problems that I had with it. Um, you, you, no, no, you didn't. Yeah, I, no. I did. So um, when, when I say problems that I had with it, I'm using very neutral language because I'm just describing my position rather than this specific argument. What I would like to get to is if you are saying science cannot investigate this right now and you are acknowledging that at the present moment we are not clairvoyant, we can't predict what tools of investigation science will have in the future, then I would say there is more than just reasonable doubt about what causes the effect currently described as dark matter. But, but, but that's beside not, the point. No, no, no. It, it's I mean, window it, dressing. No, no. It's, it, it's entirely, it is entirely my point, which is um, mm -hmm. until there is sufficient evidence to make a conclusion uh, about what uh, specific effect or what kind of effect causes uh, what we'll describe as, the, you know, the dark matter effect, um, then the conclusion is uh, we don't know or we don't know yet, depending on how confident you want to be in Calm investigation. Out. No, it's not. Actually, it's um, it's a reasonable I, application of certainty. Can I say something? Really yes. Go ahead. We don't even know what we don't even know what gravity is. Yeah. We don't even know what gravity is. It, what does that so, have to do so with? So let me let me let me point this out, Billy. Model, the limits of human knowledge do not impress me at all. The limits of human knowledge do not say anything at all about the natural world whatsoever. At one point, we did not have sufficient tools to investigate distant planets or what caused stars to explode. And at one point, people said, we will never be able to investigate the chemical makeup of stars that are beyond our reach. And since that time, you know that? we have developed How that. do you know that? Wait, 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 wait. How do you know that? Be by looking through the history of science, it's actually one of the things highlighted in A Brief History of Time. As, as, as part of the development okay. of being able to investigate the cosmos. So the people, point is... People actually, people actually used to say that we will never... Uh, like, who said that? So you know? they, they said, wow, I cannot imagine a way in which we could investigate the specific chemical makeup of stars at a great distance. And when you look oh, at that, they did not, however, conclude, oh, we should throw up our hands and never look at it because that's not the way science works. I didn't they did that. not... I, I know, that. I'm not. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the... Uh, the uh, people in, engaged in the scientific investigation of the cosmos in the past. What they did say was, wow, I cannot imagine a way in which this is done. They did not conclude, oh, therefore this is supernatural. And I would have said at that time that they would have been unjustified in drawing that conclusion in the same way that I'm saying, I believe that you are unjustified in drawing the conclusion that you're drawing today. Okay, um, let, me, let me go at this another way. If, okay. if, I, if, if I was unable to be detected, okay, and and I could walk down the street and stomp on aluminum cans and they would crush flat. And people saw, when people were walking by, all they would see is a can crushing flat. They wouldn't see me because I can't be detected, I'm invisible. Um, would I be considered supernatural? 
No, there, there wouldn't be a justification for hop- hypothesizing your existence. So if the only, if the only phenomenon is but, but, yes. aluminum cans are crushed, we could investigate the effect of the aluminum cans. But to conclude there is a supernatural force causing that, I believe is unjustified. They would, no, they would think that, they, like, you don't think that scientists um, seeing cans just crushing uh, spontaneously on the side of the road, like, just crushing flat with nothing around, nothing detected at all. You, you don't think that scientists would conclude that there's some kind of supernatural thing no. going no. on? No. So the process of science does not reach conclusions before it has sufficient evidence. And at the point at which people are investigating, let's look at this from the, the perspective that everyone else would have. We would say would aluminum have cans are being crushed and we don't know what causes it. And that would be the point at which either further investigation would take place or insufficient scientific funding would prevent further investigation. But Actually, you nailed I, that. Yeah, I, I don't believe that anyone would be justified in saying there is an invisible, otherwise intangible human being crushing the cans. What evidence would there be it for that? It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what of they Of course. Say. We're talking otherwise, about what they're saying. Otherwise, your syllogism wouldn't be perfect. Yeah. Let's also... The equivalent of your syllogism would be, therefore, the cause of the cans being crushed is supernatural, and we wouldn't be yeah, justified exactly. in concluding that. It would that. be. No, it, and whether or not it would be does not affect whether or not at that point in time we would have sufficient evidence. What you've described is a situation in which the scientists investigating the phenomenon would have a limited set of data, a set of data so limited that they would not be justified in drawing a conclusion. Yes, they would. They would have okay. enough. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. What they would have so was w- looks- an unexplained phenomena, and when you have an unexplained phenomena, you do not pull an explanation from the air. Think In the process the of reasonable or scientific investigation, throwing up your hands, I'm I'm very calm. I'm just very insistent in no, my not. tone. I I am, but oh, okay. I can understand. So, hold on, I can hold understand on, hold how on. that's let's, not coming across. Let's all take the a only breath. data right. that let's would be had would be. Cans being no, crushed no, and it's being unexplained. And when something Jeez. is unexplained, you do not proceed by saying it is pixies. Look what you did, Billy. I never he's wound up. <laughs> I never said anything about okay. that. Yes, but if no. someone said, you actually, also, it's an invisible, that. otherwise no. intangible human being, no, really. their explanation would have precisely okay. the same evidence and precisely the same Just, lack of explanatory power as saying pixies did it, or God did it, or multiple gods did okay. it, or Shiva oh, oh, did okay. it. Okay. Okay. Who cares what did it? Billy. Who cares what did it? It's That's the, the entire point of your premise is that yeah. it was caused by supernatural means. Whatever it is, it, yeah, it, it would be. Yeah, no, I don't, it wouldn't w- be. Please not, provide not, a justification for that because, the, because the evidence of not we can't investigate it is roughly the same as I cannot find another explanation, therefore it is this. There is a name for that informal logical fallacy. Like you guys are not looking it's, at it. It's really called the argument from personal incredulity. I don't think that you're you're following um, me through. Yeah. Through well, let, let, let's let's take a different tact. Billy, can you give me premise one, please? Okay. Premise one. Okay. I thought I did this already, but you did. Well, it, like, science, I think he's saying let's start over. Science, science can't can investigate the supernatural. Mm-hmm. Science can't investigate the supernatural. Mm-hmm. So, so that's your antecedent. So if we find something that science can't investigate, then it is supernatural. That's your consequent? Yeah, that's okay. premise one. Right. Um, premise two is science cannot investigate dark matter and dark energy. Well, that, and a conclusion, well, if, I may, if I may just throw out the conclusion real quick, mm-hmm. conclusion, 95% of the universe is supernatural. Okay. So let's let's go back, right? Um, when's the last time you took I, uh, Logic 101? So re- really quick. No, hold on, can, hold on, no, no. hold on. No, this, 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 is very, this is very thing. I, I would say, I think just for the organization of um, your argument, uh, hopefully this won't come across as pompous, I think that you should present it as having three premises because the first premise actually contains two parts. Well, and, and, and I'm um, actually going through that, Jamie. So, well, so I was going to say, because science it's, cannot investigate the supernatural. Okay. Um, it should be first one, and then if we find something that science hey. can't investigate, it should be considered supernatural, would be I, the second one. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, bud. Okay, sorry. Okay. So, Billy, um, when's the last time you took a Logic 101? What's been my name? What'd you don't, say? Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. Don't, don't do what? Do that. Don't do that. You're doing the, you're doing the same thing that, that 
uh, militant atheists do. When's the last oh, time you took atheist. Logic 101? I know, I'm asking that. you because... So, we're, we're, trying to have a, we're trying to have a civilized discussion. I, yeah, and I'm asking you... Don't patronize me. Don't I'm, I'm not trying to be patronizing, Billy. I'm asking you because I'm, I'm about to go into the structural pieces of logic, and I don't know if I can just say, hey, you're affirming the consequent, or if I need to teach. Well, I... So th th this is not this is not me trying to be patronizing. This is me trying to help walk you through a couple issues in in your syllogism. I have a Do you suggestion. Understand that? Hold on. I'm probably twice. I'm probably twice as old as you are. So I've been I've been I've been through the arguments. Uh, okay. Many 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 times. Then how so, come you've missed that you're affirming the consequent? Oh my God. Uh, how how come you are assert, assuming? Or, or uh, pretending that that's what what has happened because that's not what okay. Happened. So not only not have me, you not, not only me. not only do you lack a basic understanding of science as a method, but you also <laughs> lack a one hundred and one understanding of logic. And because of that, it is no wonder that you think it's perfect. You rely on name calling, talking down, and being rude to people, and that's why you're off the show. Goodbye, Billy. Have a nice day. Oh. No. Hey, for, for those of you who are curious, initially Eric put him on hold and then I think decided that, that Billy should be dropped. So, um, yeah, I think we took two different approaches to that. We but, did, and we walked over each other. So th there's, there's sort of two um, problems with the statement. Something that cannot be investigated by science um, is supernatural uh, as the second premise. I mean, but really, the, the, the syllogism he's presenting is two syllogisms crammed together. The first syllogism being, uh, is, science cannot investigate the supernatural. Um, premise two, if a thing cannot be investigated by science, then it is supernatural. Uh, um, conclusion... Uh, well, I, conclusion, or... Um, no, no, no. Then uh, dark matter... Uh, cannot be investigated by science, therefore dark matter is the supernatural. And then um, because dark matter, well, so because dark matter well, makes up 95% of the mass of you, you the universe, can, it's super you, supernatural. You can come up with things that have multiple syllogisms that, that move uh, forward it's, into it's a, a cohesive a, end. It's a pedantic point that's, um, that's a little yeah, bit... So, but a, a, more, a more like, uh, you know, direct on uh, point of that mm -hmm. is I, I'm going to tell you why that didn't work. Right, uh, so you have when you have two premises, you have your antecedent, which is first, and then you have your consequent. Right, it's reversed for the camera, so I'll go antecedent and then consequent. There we go. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so in your antecedent, uh, it's the first premise that you make, and then you know the the second premise that you make. Uh, what you want to do to remain on the up and up is either affirm the antecedent or deny the consequent. Right, if you don't do that you have an issue. And I'll give you an example, right? Um, you, antecedent would be all dogs have hair, mm -hmm. right? And the consequent, or the second premise, uh, Jamie has hair, Inclusion, right? Conclusion, therefore, Jamie, Jamie is, is a dog. A dog the same right? logic is applied with science. Of, yeah, sorry. Hey, look, that's some nice, th that's some nice yeah. thunder you've got there. Let me just reach over here and take it. Oh. <laughs> Um, yes, and so the, I'm not trying to teach you. I'm trying to walk through everybody yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, w when you are affirming the consequent, what you're doing is you're possibly running into that. Um, now, we can get into the definitions of supernatural, and we can talk that way, which is what Jamie was doing, or you can get into the logical structure. Either way, though, this person failed. Um, and I really, really have a short temper for people who are uh, patronizing, rude, and name call? Um, that's 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 our job. Uh, so that's. I mean, I don't mean to argue with you. I think that's more uh, <laughs> your, your job. Um, but no, it, it's 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 ridiculous. Um, mm. I, if if you are going to rely on, I'm older than you. You're being rude. You well, are unkind. Don't do that to me. Yeah, and I, I know more than you as your answers to things. Yeah. Um, I mean, to, to that's be clear. kind of a sign that you're having an issue. You're talking to two people who will not give 100% surety on, on anything about the nature of existence, including... Because our, that's know, the justified that's, position. Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm it's, it's one of that. skepticism. Uh, so with that said, of course you're going to get that. And we get that way with each other.
too. We we hold each oh, other fuck, honest yes, on, on on criticisms of things like that to be because we want the other one to be better. And if I told Jamie, hey, Jamie, I am seven years older than you, so how dare you assume that you can have more intelligence or more knowledge of a topic than me? It's ridiculous. When it comes to yeah. current events and politics, he, he's, he's the one who keeps me informed. So why would I assume that that is a reasoning that would, would follow? So it wouldn't. Yeah, I was going to say, if you think that that conversation was contentious, you should come have a beer across the table from Eric and I when we... Oh, oh start talking about no, don't, um, oh. free will. Who? Yeah. Okay, uh, but we're not doing it God. on the 